Uh, you guys are 13 and six overall, six and five in the conference. You have that loss to McKendry last week, and then you uh, bounce back with a win over the University of Illinois Springfield. I get the impression in talking to you last week and, and knowing the tradition and the, uh, the the history of this program, despite the 13 and six record and the six and five conference record, you know, overall a winning record. I feel like that's maybe not good enough for this program. Is that an accurate assessment? Oh, I think so. I think we have, I, I think that's, uh, um, I think that's very accurate. And, you know, it, it's sort of an abstract conversation, but uh, I think we're all wanting more. All right. Well, the loss, like I said, you lost to McKendry and then you bounce back, you get the win over uh, University of Illinois Springfield. So what worked versus Illinois Springfield that maybe didn't work at McKendry? I understand it's two different teams, so maybe the game plan's a little different, but what did you see? that you liked at the University uh, of Illinois Springfield that maybe you were hoping to have seen in the McKendry game? You know, it's an it was an interesting week because both those teams actually were very similar. They had a, a they both had an excellent shooting, big shooting guard and, and uh, uh, they both had a big guy inside and they didn't, neither team had much great depth. Uh, we, we don't have great depth either. Uh, what, what we found that happened in the McKendry game is that, uh, the game was was kind of a smooth, comfortable game in the first ten minutes, and um, uh, and we we fell into that trap. and And it seemed like defensively we were not the aggressor. We were we were second to uh, every loose ball, and or you know it seemed that way. And and in college basketball, you've got to be first to everything. You've got to be first to the block out to get position. You've got to be first to the ball. Your hands have got to be quick to the floor. Uh, and, and we just we got into that trap where the game was really nice and smooth and comfortable in the first ten minutes, and 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 we couldn't we couldn't step up our aggressiveness defensively. And Logan Carson just made us pay for it. Uh, he goes ten for sixteen, and hit eight free throws, made a bunch of threes, and uh, and then uh, you know because if you look at our offensive numbers, we scored eighty two points. We shot a you know a decent percentage, both you know at, at, uh, from the field. We took care of the ball decently. It's just. Defensively, we we were we we just we were a half step away from people, and at this time of year, you you got to be physical and not and not in a fighting way, but just there's got to be contact and you've got to be the first one to it. Uh, we go to you know we watch that game on film and we learn from that lesson and we talked about those very things about being physical and and uh, creating our own space and when we switch stepping up to the man and not letting them have rhythm and. Uh, and consequently, uh, Millicent is a kid that from Springfield is an excellent, one of the better shooters in our league. And he's a six-three guard that can really raise up big shoulders and and make shots. He ends up going four for eighteen, and they had a six-ten kid that we took away nearly every option except for a couple baskets. Uh, we out rebounded by sixteen, and, and you know, and, and it's not surprising there was a difference in the result. Well, you know, coach, this uh, this USI team this season is 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 not one of the bigger ones that you've had. Uh, you know, you've you've had a lot more size in the paint, but when you when you get a team that uh, you can't necessarily depend on a lot of size, does it come down more than to the fundamentals, boxing out a little better, screening better, uh, like you said, going after those loose balls, scrapping? You've you've got to win more of those battles when your size battled, right? You also have to utilize your quickness all the time, and and uh, when you're when you're undersized, you you know you've got to be quicker around people. Uh, something we've had a lot of success with this year is, is uh, when we front the post with smaller guys, take this in consideration. If there's pressure on the ball and you got and you and you're fronting the post, it takes a it takes a near perfect pass. It takes awfully good hands to catch that ball. Um, and, and those you know it, it 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 takes the desire to do that on every possession and and uh, hey our kids are giving us what they have, man. We have we have no beef with these guys. I, I said yesterday to our coaches on not that not that you not that you you know the records aren't in practices, but on February second, I thought we had one of the best February practices I can remember since I've been here, which gives us an indication that these guys are still wanting to play, and 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 that's the you know that's part of the thing in college basketball now. It's February, and guys are thinking about spring break. Uh, we don't want to be in that group. Well, coach, you uh, you come home now for a couple of straight games. Home record nine and two, obviously a little more comfortable than home. You got a five hundred record on the road, but uh, Quincy coming in. Uh, no easy win. You got Truman State after that. Uh, Truman awful tough. They say, well, this whole conference is tough every year. But uh, you're, you're, you're talking about, you know, spring break and the guys start maybe seeing that sunshine and sandy beaches a little bit. 
Uh, what do you do to keep them focused? And I'm sure does it help having them at home where, where they they don't have to be out on the road with different surroundings? You let them know we're still recruiting. Um, <laughs> that, that, that helps take care of that uh, bad mindset. But, uh, no, we have good guys. Good guys like to play. And, 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 and you, you know, that's not the case everywhere. Uh, we we had, we come back off the road, got back at a, at a really good time on Saturday, and, and uh, Coach Good told me that about half our team were in the were in the pack, either shooting baskets or lifting weight on Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, that's a really good indicator. So we've got a good bunch. We're just going to keep fighting it, and, and uh, we're practicing hard and getting better. We have a good bunch of young guys. We have several guys sitting out redshirting this year. Uh, but everything's been competitive, and, and uh, we have guys that like each other. So. That part kind of takes care of itself if, 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 if the culture of your program is designed that way. And so that's not, you know, it's not something we really worry about. Um, now, as far as Quincy and Truman coming this weekend, Quincy uh, is a team that's kind of been kind of mirrored us a little bit, and they've kind of been up and down. And, and on Saturday, they're at Drury, a place where it's really tough to play, and Drury got us really good earlier in the year. They hit a three with 1.6 seconds to go up by one. Um, and uh, Drury somehow took the ball the length of the floor, got a shot with 1.6 seconds. I think maybe there are a couple of dribbles involved there. So you kind of can kind of do the math on that deal. Uh, and they, they pulled the game out uh, and really broke Quincy's heart on, a, on, on what would have been a terrific upset. Truman on Thursday beats Drury at Drury by four. They're, both these teams are really solid. This league is outstanding. Gosh, it's skilled. Um, it's good basketball. People score they score the ball. We don't hold the ball. We don't walk the ball before. It's got a great entertainment value. Uh, they're good players. They're good inside players, good outside players. There's top 10, 20 teams in the country, and, and teams are trying to knock those guys off. The thing that we talk about with our guys is that we're always going to have opportunities for quality wins every single night out. Talking to Rodney Watson, head coach at the uh, USI Men's Basketball. It's Ford and O'Brien, ESPN Evansville, 105.3 and online, ESPNEvansville.com. Well, Coach, you mentioned that Quincy and the Truman State game, both at home. Uh, you got Thursday with Quincy and then uh, Truman State on Saturday inside the pack. Uh, and then, you know what? Honestly, your regular season's just about done. Does it creep up on you quickly? I mean, have you had a chance to look at the calendar and go, wow, we've only got like a few weeks left in this regular season, and then you jump into the tournament. Does it go by that quick for you as well? It does, and you know it's something we talk about even at Christmas time. At Christmas time, your season is a third over, and it's as if you've just gotten started. We start, you know, about mid-November, and by uh, the time you take your break at Christmas, it's a third over. Um, we talked about being five and four after beating Lewis at our place uh, two Saturdays ago, and and how the season then two thirds over. Uh, we talk to our guys all the time about this, this uh, mainly for our seniors, mainly so that our underclassmen know that. They've got to give everything they've got, both them and the coaches. We give the, our three seniors everything they've got because, you know, in, in seven games, that's all we're promised. Hopefully we'll, we'll get in the, comp, in the conference tournament and really make some big noise there. But um, this thing goes very fast. College goes fast. I work for Bruce Weber, who's now at Kansas State, and he had probably the, the, the most wisdom on that topic. when he, he, he would always tell our team, said, your freshman year is going to go really slow. And if you think back, you know, all of us kind of had a really long freshman year of college. But he said, your sophomore and junior year is going to go as fast as your freshman year combined. And, and you look at your seniors, and, and Austin Dave's a fifth-year senior, and, and he'll tell you on, on a blink of an eye, snap of a finger, uh, his college career is going to be over here very shortly. So I think that had a little bit to do with why we've had good practices. Um, uh, you know, you're going to have, you know, we had a, we had a, bad, we had a bad night on Thursday. you got to put it behind you. And, and go try to get the next one. We'll have to definitely be locked in for Quincy on Thursday. What would you like to see from your perspective? What does this team need to work on as you get closer to the end of the regular season and get into the tournament? What do you guys need to work on to to have a good run once the tournament gets underway? There's a couple of things. One, and you you touched you guys touched on it. You guys, you know, basketball and and, it, and it's not a complicated game. It's it's three things, and I talk about a lot. It's, I want us to see us just continue to be, use our quickness defensively. And, and be very difficult to to move the ball and on the on the on the dribble. Um, we've got to become more physical, as I as I touched a lot on here in this interview. But uh, we've we've got to we've got to make sure we clear people out and fight harder for every loose ball, whether it be a rebound or a ball that's on the floor. And then, and I, I really like this team because they they share the ball with one another. Um, I'd like for us to continue to have 
continue to work on our spacing and and we've got very good shooters. We, we we'll need to we'll need to make long shots uh, for this last final run. But uh, just continue to play together as a team and and uh, those are the three big things that are kind of on our mind a lot and we're trying to coach that up really hard. That's uh, USI men's basketball coach Rodney Watson joining us on the Menard Studio Hotline. Coach, best of luck against Quincy and Truman later this week, and we'll talk again next Tuesday. Thanks, guys.